Right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Holiday Cupcake Decorating. I want to thank the Ruth Clear Memorial Library for hosting this. And um, just let you know we're recording it. So if you miss it or, or if you want to look at it again, check the Ruth Clear Memorial website and look on the corner where it has the Facebook or the YouTube page and you'll be able to see the recorded uh, class there. OK, um, we're going to start off doing just taking a look at what we're going to work on today right here. We have different versions of different holiday cupcakes that we're going to work on. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to pull them off in a minute one by one. Before we actually get started on the cupcakes, I want to do a little bit of chocolate um, work that we're going to put in the refrigerator first. That's going to be like the antlers to the, or any animal, but it can be a reindeer or your, if you would do a, a, a teddy bear or something. You can use chocolate. We're also going to do a snowflake. I actually printed off this template off of the web of snowflakes. I wish it was a little darker, but I can always outline it next time. I'm putting a piece of parchment on top of it. And I'm going to use just white melted chocolate coins that are actually in this bag here. It's nice and warm. I pre-melted it. I used a plastic tip. So that way, if it gets a little like not as loose, I can always just throw the whole bag right into the microwave for like five to seven seconds, okay? Doesn't need much. You wanna make sure it's liquidy and it's just like everything else. You wanna be able to hold this up like this. You grab it and you pinch it with your piping bag and you twist it. You wanna get as much tension on the bag as there is on your hand so that you have a nice even uh, flow coming out of the chocolate, okay? So I'm just gonna take a couple here and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator so that by the time we get to the cupcakes, they'll be nice and cold. So I'm just gonna pick a design. It doesn't have to be very detailed, just a small one where I'm gonna squeeze here. And if it doesn't come out, we may have to coax it to come out. Because it's winter, the chocolate does get stuck real easy. Sometimes you gotta put a toothpick, and if not, you have to put it in the microwave. I try the microwave right here, just to put it in for like four seconds, just really quick. Doesn't seem like much, but it helps. And then you get a toothpick, so we'll poke it. Not long enough, but let me see. Let me get the toothpick out. These are like the troubleshooting things that I want you to know how to fix if something happens. So sometimes you just gotta get the toothpick right in there, pull it out. All right, that gets it going a little bit and then we're gonna put it back in there. I have eight seconds, that's it. Let's try that. Just to loosen it up and we're gonna make our snowflakes for our, like a winter wonderland. Tomorrow's Hanukkah, so I did do a blue cupcake which you could use if you're uh, celebrating the Jewish holiday. And see if I got it to come out now. Any luck? Let's try it again. It's because it's just so cold with winter. But it takes a little coaxing. This is good to show. Nope, it's still not coming out. All right, well, it's not being nice to me. All right, let's see here. Let's put it back in there. Let's try like for 15 or 30 seconds. It's just that it got really cold fast. I tried to make it right before class just so it would be like nice and loose. But this is good because you know how to fix things when they go wrong, wrong okay? So we're also gonna do another one right here where I just hand drew some antlers and we're gonna do some brown chocolate, you know, just light chocolate, dark chocolate to make some antlers, okay? Let's see if that helped out. Maybe that did it a little longer. Just right in the tip there. Let's try it again. I got a little softer. Maybe that's going to help out. This is what I get for doing things too far in advance, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Where is chocolate? All right, let me do the chocolate reindeer. My, let's do the reindeer ears first. Okay. It's going to help me unplug that. All right. So we got movement on our chocolate one for sure. So I'm just going to do a little outline of the ears. And you can go a little further if you need to this and I make them a little thick so they don't break okay now this one's a little runny but okay like that and it's okay see I'm a little messy but cut that off. just so you know if you see color on my fingers I've been dealing with a lot of the gel dyes today with all the colors so my hands are definitely clean they're just now stain. I didn't think about putting my gloves on until it was too late. A little bit more. 
for antlers. Okay, so now let's transfer this thing over to a plate and it's going to go in the fridge. And it'll come back to us later. And let me check on our white chocolate and see if it's any better. Oh, yes, now we got it going. Okay. All right, we're, got, we're back in business. Okay, so we're back to the snowflake. All right, here we go. Get that taken care of it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go with this small one right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna make a circle here, here. Easing up, let's see here. So much problem with this before, let's see. There you go. Now let's make a line here. I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is getting so stuck on me today. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. All over again. Get a dot there and a dot here. In my bag up a little bit. It's like it lets me get two squirts out and it stops. I don't know why. We made a bigger hole. There you go. No, this is not this is not working out. This is a fail. Sorry guys. Nope. Tell you what, we're gonna go into the cupcake and we're going to try to fix our bag. For some reason, we have a technical difficulty with the bag. All right, we're gonna rework that. No, oh, sorry. Okay. Someone said on the chats that they've worked with dark chocolate before and they feel like the yeah, the white thing. chocolate. I never used to have problems. I didn't want to put any oil in it, which is a um. Sometimes you can do it with the oil, but sometimes it doesn't really dry hard enough to work for the snowflake, but I've never had that problem before, but you know, there's always the first time for everything. That happens to a lot of people. <laughs> so yeah, I should use coconut oil. I can use coconut oil. I've used a touch even of, of olive oil before too, and it works, but we're gonna see. Got somebody helping me on that. All right, we're gonna move on to the cupcake. So the first cupcake we're gonna do is we're gonna do this tall, pull it out here without dropping it. I'm having sticky fingers today. Is this tall? Christmas tree, okay? But what I wanna show you first before doing that is a lot of people don't know how to, the easy way I should say, of putting icing in a piping bag. And I wanna show you that tip. Also, uh, another reason is because I wanna show you how to use the gel color uh, and make swirl, which we're gonna make our peppermint first. So I'm gonna take a tall cup, it doesn't matter if it's clear or not, just like this. I'm taking my piping bag, which I've already pre-cut, and I have my piping tip in here. I'm gonna load it into the cup so that I have a nice base. Put that in. Okay. Put that down in there, the tip down really nice and good. Flatten it out. And then I have a chopstick. Okay. That's gonna help me with the gel. Now, if you've never used the gel before, it's very concentrated. Uh, I'm gonna just use this red one here from Wilton. It's very concentrate. And what I, when I mix it in with icing, I never stick it in the, the gel and then stick it in the icing and go back in here because it'll contaminate the gel. And within a week, you'll have mold in here. So once you stick this in here and it touches icing, it never goes back in there. But because I'm not using icing in this cup, I can go back and forth in this. This is clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stripes in here, just dipping it in here and going straight up with this. Stay focused. And then I'm going to put the icing and then it's going to make a swirl. So I'm going in. I've got that. And I'm going to try to pull this up here so you can see it. I'm going to go all the way down to the tip, all the way into the metal tip. And I'm going to just come up. Straight up one. 
It doesn't seem like there's very much in there, but there is, trust me, it's very concentrated. Let's do another couple of stripes. So I'm gonna do another one here, all the way down to the tip, to the very end of the tip and come up. Now I do this one all the time too for like, let's say 4th of July. And so I will add a blue stripe and it'll be like a red, white and blue. And then you can have, you know, patriotic colors. If you do Halloween, you could do orange and black and purple, green. So, you know, worst case scenario, you see this at the store a lot, how you wonder how they get the nice squirrel, but we're gonna do red and white and do like a peppermint squirrel. So again, I'm just going all the way to the end of the tip and I use the chopstick because it's so long. I can get down in there, okay? So that is my colors. I don't know if you can see it in there. You see? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that. Don't set this down on your counter or your table because it is so concentrated. It will, depending on your countertop, it will bleed in there. So I like to give a little white. It's already all over my hands because you see how it stains the chopstick and this is a plastic one. So, put that in the trash. All right, now we're gonna load the, let's close this up. We're gonna load the white, icing in there to get our peppermint and I don't have a demo of the peppermint one because I was waiting to do it while you know, we had class okay so we have our icing gonna take our icing pop it right in here you can use a flat spatula if you want right in there okay you're gonna hold your bag and you're gonna press it in there. This makes it much easier to load a piping bag, okay? All right, so the key to it is grab your piping bag now. You pull it up off the glass. Take it down. You wanna always wanna hold it over a plate or the cup or the bowl or anything like that because once you start to get the air out of it, you see the stripes in there now? We're going to squeeze slowly, all the icing down, pinch it, remember the pinch, the twist. You want the same pressure here as it is on your hand, okay? So, all right. Now, we have this like that, you see the stripes in there? And we're gonna take just a moment because I think my, my chocolate's back. We're gonna go back to the chocolate while it's flowing. All right, there's, there's some spots here. Thank you so much. All right, now I have loose chocolate. <laughs> Let's make our icicles so they can go in the fridge. All right, here we go. Tighten it up, twist it. Oh my gosh, this is never gonna be a second problem here. Nope, won't come out. Oh my gosh. Can't put more oil in it, I guess. I literally just got out of the microwave. Let's like poke a hole in it again. Let's see. Maybe it's maybe it's April Fool's Day, I don't know. Instead of Christmas. Come on, you need two snowflakes. Got a little bit coming out there. Twist it. I get a lot of pressure to get it out. Mm. Maybe not as pretty as I like, but this time I'm gonna get what I be happy with what I got here. Well, that's like that. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit pretty stuff on top of it. I make one more, so I have another one. I have any luck to make another one. Well, I, I'll tell you the truth. I did switch brands of chocolates this time. It's not made a difference, but at Christmas time, you kind of don't have too much choice. They don't have a lot of uh, stock ran out. I usually go with Wilton, but this time I went with another brand and zero. Right. 
put some little sprinkles on them. Okay, we're gonna put those in the fridge. Here we got. Okay, transferring over. That's going in the fridge. We're gonna go back to our peppermint. All right, come this way. All right, let's see what our swirl is gonna look like. So we have pinch, twist, and I always do a little, keep a paper towel next to me because in case it's a little gooey at first, clean the tip off, okay? We're gonna do a swirl so I can make it look like a peppermint. Let's hope this is better than the chocolate, okay? Here we go. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Nice. All right, we got a peppermint, we have success. So we have like a peppermint swirl, okay? I might add a little holly to it. Let's say I add a little holly to it. Let's make a little green icing. And I'm just gonna use my my star tip and do like a little bit of a leaf. That, and we'll use a couple maybe, a couple of M&Ms, Carly. Like that. And it depends on what tip, tip you have, okay? You see how that red just brings out, it just comes out like that? And you can do it any way you want to. You can do it with a star tip if you want to. I'm gonna add this over here to our other ones. Okay, so that's how you add, that is how you add the star, the star tip and that's how you do the peppermint, okay? All right, so let's put that to the side. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do this Christmas tree one right here. So take a look at that. Again, it doesn't have to be, your children can help you with this. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It's just very seasonal, nice. We're gonna start off with just a regular cupcake. We're gonna start off with our white icing. I'm just using them for this particular instance, I'm using a star tip just because it's a multi-purpose. I can use it for several of the cupcakes, okay? And first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, like this brown would be like the dirt or the ground. And then I'm gonna come across with white at the bottom to make basically like the snow on the bottom of it, okay? So I'll start off here, you attach first, and then you just start to kind of swiggle around. And we're gonna put some little sprinkles on it so it doesn't come out perfect, don't, don't fret, okay? It's gonna be okay. You do wanna make sure there's a little bit toward the middle because that's where your cupcake's gonna connect with the, with the ice cream cone, all right? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put our sprinkles while we have it clear and free. Oh, let me put a little plan underneath that because I'm probably gonna make, I get really messy, I'm telling you. Put that so the snow kind of glistens. That, I'm gonna take my ice cream cone, I'm just using a sugar cone like this. And then I'm gonna take my green and tighten my bag up a little bit and make a few little lines like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little spatula or you can take a offset spatula. And it doesn't have to be pretty because you're gonna just making your, basically you're making the foundation to this, okay? Just want to cover up some of the brown. Okay. Lines coming down towards you, just like that. Okay. So we have that, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach it here. Just like that. Push it in there. Now, Sometimes I put M&Ms in the inside for the kids to surprise them, but we're gonna forego that today. All right, tighten our bag up. And we're going to, I'm gonna hold it in my hand because it's easier for me to probably show the camera, okay? But I'm gonna go, and you just barely, just make some star tip and you just pull away from it. You want it to look kind of like, like rustic, like leaves, okay? Just keep 
going like that. And they don't have to all be in a row. They can be random. Just look like a Christmas tree, folks. At first, you kind of get skeptical, like, is this going to look cute? But once we put the snow and the little ornaments on it, it's really cute. I'm going to stop for a second because I got to tighten my bag up. See how it got loose? That doesn't help me achieve my goal of getting some nice, consistent rosettes coming out of this thing. Now, if your kids are watching and they want to do this, you can just sit them at the table and turn it around something. Rather than stand up. A little harder standing up. Okay, so we have our Christmas tree. That. Now we're going to add a few little ornaments. You can put M&Ms. I just happen to have like little red dots. I have things left over from the Halloween. Someone asked how you made the tree look, um, how you make the tree part of the cupcake, or is it baked? Oh, oh, that little tree, that the, that's an actual ice cream cone. Let me see the box so I can just show them. Like it's an actual ice cream cone from like you'd put your ice cream in like this. See? So it's just an ice cream cone turned upside down. So they, you can just buy it like that. And then I bought like these little ornaments. Let me show you this. This is from Wilton. And they have all these different kind of little things you can use, gingerbread man. So I'm using various ones to put on the Christmas tree, as you can see. Sometimes you can use tweezers, you can use your hands, whatever you feel like putting on your tree. They even have little light bulbs, which we're gonna use later on for a string. So I said they're from Michaels? Uh, they're from Michaels, yes, they are. So you can put different things on it, it's up to you. These little stockings are really cute. There's a coupon, I think, or there was yesterday, a coupon for them, 40% off, so. So we'll just put a few more things just so you can see what it looks. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna put, I happen to have this, it's a little golder than I'd like it to. I'd rather more yellow, but I kind of got crazy. And I'm, I'm gonna put like a little bit of a star on the top of it, kind of make it look like a star. A little bit, a little star on the top. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of snow, which I'll just add a little powdered sugar on a little thing, which I usually use for my French toast. And you kind of just go like this, kind of throw it on there. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay, or no snow at all, it's up to you. Okay, so we have that, which are really pretty because when you have them on a big, nice platter, look how pretty that looks with just two of them together. It's really nice. So that's our Christmas tree. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more versions of Christmas trees in case that's a little bit maybe uh, more than you want to do for a Christmas tree or a little more challenging, should I say. So we're going to do a different version of a Christmas tree, which just involves uh, doing a swirl, basically. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up my swirl first by putting a Hershey Kiss in the middle, just to get a little height, I guess you could say. So I'm going to take a Hershey Kiss and I'm going to put it in the middle. A little bit of glue is what I call here, or in the middle. That goes right in the middle. See that? Tighten my bag up, hold it, and then I'm going to go around it. And that is a taller Christmas tree. Maybe put some different sprinkles on this one. All things that come out. That's what I was on. Put some sprinkles on that one. If I still wanted to do a star on this one, I could do a star on this one too. That. And then, so that's more of your like level. We have the two there. Okay. Now for the easiest Christmas tree of all, if you really are like, uh, I can't do any of that, 
then you just get a small star tip, tighten our bag up, and then we're just gonna make basically a triangle, which is this right here. Go look at that one. Just a little small one like that. Okay, so we'll make like a triangle. We'll start off going across the bottom with just barely pushing it in there, attaching. Go all the way across the bottom. And then you come in a little bit. And you just keep making it a little bit smaller. This so gives you a little bit of room for forgiveness, okay? So we have a triangle there. Same thing, we can add some little ornaments. Maybe a little bit more of these on there, so cute too. Let they come out. Those are cute. And a couple of let's put some candy canes in there. Little candy cane. Those are darling. In there. And maybe we'll put one more right there. Okay. Now let's put a little bit of a star on the top. And I can put a little bit of a bottom of the wood part too. I think I have some brown we're going to do maybe Rudolph. All right, and my brown icing. All right, let's see. And there we go. So we have a little bit of a Christmas tree there, see? All right, cute. Okay, so that's our Christmas trees. All right, three versions of the Christmas tree, depending on your level, okay? So the next we're gonna do a Christmas wreath, which is almost exactly like the Christmas tree, except we're gonna go around and here's the version of it, see? So you still have your red and your green icing, so you can do a lot with just that, okay? Gonna take our star tip small and we're gonna go around the outside and literally make a wreath around it, okay? Now, this, it's just poking and attaching and lifting up on it. Sometimes I make it with a swirl and just make a whole swirl all the way around it, but I keep it simple for you, okay? All right, so we have our wreath. I'm gonna put our ribbon. So I have a red, the, just a plain tip on the end to do the ribbon. Let's see, let's pick it up. Let's pick this like this. We're going to go. And squiggle it down. Like that. If you don't have any dots to put, you can even do the red icing little dots on it like that. But we have a little bitty ornament, so we're going to put those in here. Oops. Let's see what I got in here. Got some little white ones too here somewhere. Just a second. Yeah. Add those. Make so many cute things now to use. All right. There you go. That in the middle. All right. We have our wreath. See? Cute. All right, there's that one. And then next we're gonna make a Mickey Santa hat, which I remember seeing this when I was at Disney one year. It looks like this. So it's basically little ears like that. So if you have somebody that really likes Disney, this is cute, okay? So I'm gonna take our cupcake. That. Going to use our, let's see, let me find my white. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a round circle around the bottom of it, kind of frilly, make it magical. Just swirl it around. You can see like a Santa's hat. 
turn it this way. See it a little better? There you go, see how that is? Okay, in order to make it magical, everything in Disney is sparkly, so we're gonna add some sparkle. Okay, I'm gonna put a Hershey Kiss in the middle to get some height. Glue, right there in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna get, We're going to do a swirl around. Mickey's hat. We're going to twist it just right there. And then we're going to put his ears. We're going to use tiny little Oreos for his ears, okay? Find some good ones. That's perfect. Okay. That one fell apart on me. So we're going to put his little ears, one here, one here, he's going to fall in there, I have to put a little bit more red in there, I think. Here we go, a little more, always can fix things. All right, and then we're going to put the topper on it. A little bit going. All right, we got Mickey. Mickey over here. There you go, nice and cute. We got two of those. That's your magical Christmas. And let's see, what's our next one? Well, next, we're gonna do Christmas lights. Now, I use this black gel, but if you have just black icing, you can use black icing. This is a black gel that I like to use sparkly for Christmas. So let's take, let's see. This one looks pretty good. We're gonna take our white icing. I'm gonna go all the way around. And doesn't matter how it comes out because we're gonna kind of, we're gonna um, flatten it out basically. Okay. There you go. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay. So I have little Christmas lights. If you don't have little Christmas lights, you can use M&Ms for this. Okay. So I have the icing. I'm just going to barely smooth it out. And it's okay. It's very forgiving because you say, oh, I didn't get it completely smooth, Mrs. Rizzo. I, you know, I can't. Well, you know what? It's hard for me too. Okay. So it's just supposed to look like snow. It's all right. So like that. And then pull it this way. Someone says they've seen Christmas light cupcakes on Delish videos. Mm. And they're what? They actually really light up? Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Cool. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna make our line of string. Now, I always check the, when you start with these gel icings, you always wanna make sure you check them on paper because sometimes they have liquid in there. So I'm cleaning it off and I'm making sure it's not a whole bunch of liquid come out. So then we're gonna just start a whole string of lights. First you attach and then you're gonna let it fall. Okay, you don't drag it in there, it's like, you have to let it fall onto the icing. And you just kind of squiggle it around like, it literally it looks like when you're doing it at your house and the lights are just everywhere. Okay, so we have that. And then we're gonna take, you can use, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you do the M&Ms, you just put the M&M to the side and press it in like this. And then it will look like a light. Okay, I actually have the little bitty light bulbs, so it's much easier. But if you wanted to put an M&M &M like that, you could do that too, instead of buying the other ones. But this happens to come with the kit that has the little Christmas trees and the light bulbs in it. It's really cute. So you can kind of use that. And you put your light bulbs in there. Turn them in different directions. Maybe one more over here. Let's put one more this way. Okay, so we have our light bulbs. So we have our Christmas string lights. 
Again, you can use M&Ms in there. You just push them in there really good where they're just kind of sticking out and then it will look like a light bulb too, okay? I'll put another M&M on the other one and then you can see where, let's put a green one so you can see what a green one would look like if I was to put a green light bulb in there. See, it could go as a light bulb too. All right, so that's an, improv you can improvise with that. Okay, so we have that. That's our Christmas tree lights. Uh, we're gonna do the same kind of version with the Santa Claus hat, but we're gonna do the Grinch. Now I did the best I could trying to get my green color, but you can see that's my Grinch, okay? So we're gonna start for the same process of like we did with the, the Mickey Santa hat. And I got my on me, let's see. Okay, first we'll start off with our, I'm gonna get our white out and make the bottom part. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it a little different. So I'm gonna put the Grinch in the bottom first, I think. Let's start with that. That might be a little easier for people. Let's do that. Let's get the Grinch's face here. And I'm using a piping tip that's just a, a round, standard round. No, it doesn't have any teeth or anything to it, okay? So it's just gonna go all the way around to get the Grinch's. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go press a little more because I want it to be a little bit. There you go. Press down on that. Okay, now we're gonna put his eyes in there, okay? I used yellow M&Ms. Now, let's find a good spot to put his eyes. Let's click this, use this side. Shake it a little bit. One of his eyes. And there's his other eye. And then I used red. And then he has eyebrows. So I had some, I had some leftover from Halloween, some like uh, lines. So I'm using those for his eyebrows, but you could use black icing if you wanted to. Let me get one here. So hard, I broke it. Not having good luck. Hold on. Let me see. Let me get another piece here because they're breaking and they're so gentle. Ah, there's some big long ones. Ah, found some pieces. This is from my Halloween collection here. So I'm taking the little bitty things and making the eyebrow out of it. So yeah, making him look kind of mean. All right, so that's him there. I'm gonna put him a nose and then we'll work on his. Okay. I'm gonna use my tweezer to get that to angle a little bit more. I want him to look a little bit more mischievous. There he goes. Okay, now we're gonna put his hat on. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put the white first, a little bit of white around his eyes. Let's put a pressure kiss in here to get some height. Oops. And the red. There you go. Maybe yours will come out a little bit better than mine, but I think he's cute. All right, so we have the Grinch, okay? Put that one over there. And then next we're gonna make, uh, let's see here, a snowflake. So tomorrow's Hanukkah, so if we, we get some blue icing, this is really cute. Hopefully our snowflake is ready. We're gonna check on that, okay? So I just took the blue icing, made a squirrel on it, and you'll notice on the on these cupcakes, you'll buy some of these wrappers, the cupcake liners. If you ever buy one and it doesn't say no fade, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to just blend right into that. So this is what the liner looked like before. Just so just a tip 
pro tip, buy the ones that say no fade, which these are the no fade ones, you see? So this is a good thing, buy the no fade ones. This is, so this is, if you had a white cupcake, it may show a little bit more. So if not, then that's why I have the blue liner, but I tried to do a nice pretty blue liner, didn't work out. Okay, so we're gonna work with that. Let's see here. Uh, got my blue icing. Okay. Gonna attach it. Let's see, let's clean the tip off. And let's see. So you can go lighter and do like a winter wonderland if you want to. I just thought I'd make it a little bit darker. In honor of Hanukkah. So that. And let's see, we've got our snowflake over here in this way. And it slid right off. And let's put a snowflake on that. That's pretty, like that, okay? If you wanna add a little bit more, before you put it, you can put little sprinkles. And it can either be Hanukkah or Winter Wonderland like that. That's pretty, okay? Add that. And then let's see here, we did our peppermint one. Um, I think that's everybody. Oh, our reindeer, we got our reindeer. Let's see, Rudolph. Let's see if my Rudolph will come out pretty good. I need a cupcake like this. So we have him, I brown. Here's my come out cuter than mine, let's see. Gonna start off, let's make up some brown here. I made a circle there first, okay? It's hard to make them kind of dimensional. Okay, is that? I'm gonna put him eyeballs. I make a little bit more indention for his eyeballs. Let's get him a little. I had these eyeballs less from Halloween. I don't know if it makes them look spooky or not. <laughs> if not, you can use M&Ms too. Get him a snout here. And then we're going to make them some ears for their. Let's see. Okay, so we have our antlers. See how our antlers came out? They came out so cute. And there we go. Like that, okay? You could put him a little mouth if you wanted to, but we're gonna leave him like that. All right, he kind of looks dimensional, all right? Okay, we got our reindeer. Any questions? I know there's a lot of different decorating. We have all the different ones here. Take a look, see? Some city look reindeer. The reindeer, he's cute, right? Um, use your creativity. I mean, you don't have very many colors to work with here, but you can always add more. But this is gonna show you what you could do with basically like green, red, and, and, and um, white. Um, but my favorite is obviously the Christmas tree that, with the cone. I like that because I think kids would get excited if they saw that, you know, on a platter or something and they could grab and like, especially if you put M&Ms on the inside of it, that would be really cute to surprise them. So, yeah, so the Christmas tree. I mean, Christmas tree is cute, right? Okay. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, if not, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next week. Um, the next year we'll be doing Christmas cookies, but it's going to be more like I'm going to do different variations of how to decorate different things. May even be like how to decorate a brownie. Um, so just random stuff, but I want you to be able to use things that you have at home to be able to do some kind of decorating of Christmas uh, desserts, okay? All right, thank you very much, and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.